Hey guys, welcome back to another Cajun Toy Review. And today we're going to be looking at the Marvel Legends series Spider-Man No Way Home Upgraded Suit. Now this is a Walmart exclusive and a re-release of the Spider-Man Upgraded Suit from Far From Home. Uh, this one does come with a Talon, Tom Holland, Peter Parker head, and a new web accessory. But we will look at the previous release one side by side and compare them. We'll do some head swaps and put this head on like the black suit and others just to kind of see and uh, check it out. So let's get into it and check out this figure. So uh, Legend Series box we've seen before. Spider-Man logo on there. Upgraded suit. On the side we've got what we've seen with a lot of the No Way Home figures with the Spider-Man symbol there cool shot of the upgraded suit love the little web shooter thing popped on there on the back got a nice big shot of spider-man in that upgraded suit um what a little bit of read up spider-man gears up in his upgraded suit to fight the evil and protect his neighborhood uh you can see there is no figures on this because this is a walmart exclusive and there is no wave uh no builder figure etc like that uh upc on the bottom a little damage on there and um I know when I had bought this, it was pretty easy to get. I know now they're sold out, so um, I'm sure they're going up a little bit. So um, anyway, I hope you got a chance to get one. If not, uh, I hope you find one. So let's open this up and check out our figure. And looking at our new Spider-Man figure, uh, I'm pleased and happy to say that this is not just an identical version uh, that we've seen previously. There actually is uh, slight differences in the suit and just the paint on it and stuff like that and that goes a long way uh, because f for me personally I literally was buying this like hmm do I want this like head do I think this uh, Tom Holland head is worth it this unmasked spider-man and I thought I did I thought I warranted it for it and uh who you know can always use another web effect so hey why not but um yeah I'm actually quite pleased that um there is differences you know slight but hey it's differences there and I do um, I do like that a lot, so we'll take a look at it. But yeah, I think just an overall first impression and opinion, I think it's pretty good. So let's take a look at the figure. And looking at the accessories that come with our upgraded suit Spider Man, we get two sets of hands uh, this new web, well, this web effect, and a masthead and unmasked head. So we have these kind of gripping hands, which are very good for the holding the web. Or whatever you need them to hold. Um, surprisingly, no fisted hands. You know, you're fighting bad guys. You're th throwing some licks. You need some fisted hands for Spider-Man. Man, you can't be punching people with web hands or open hands like this. You need some fisted man. What's going on with this? Um, I'm very surprised that we did not get fisted hands, but hey, they do look good. Uh, I do like the red and the black a lot, and they are hinged, which is good as well. But come on, man. You gotta, you gotta punch people, Spider-Man. Gotta be knocking people in the face. Uh, and of course, we got these twipping hands, uh, web shooting, and yeah, these look great as well. The black with the red, party on. But again, hinged, which is great, um, and really cool. Definitely like how you can see uh, the texture on the fingers and stuff like that. Looks really nice. And then the masthead uh, is pretty good. I wish there's a little bit of detail in the mask, a little bit maybe like with the lines. Uh, it just looks kind of plain. But the eyes and everything, I mean, the sculpt on it is kind of fine. It's the same mask head that we've seen before with the previous Spider Man. Grab that real quick. Oops. Um, previous mask head, so yeah, same head. Identical. Uh, yeah. But not bad. And what most people really want is this new head, this Tom Holland head. And I think this looks really good. Um, I do like it a lot. I think they did a good job on the face for the most part. Uh, the hair looks really good. Very wavy. A lot of texture on there. Yeah. From the side, not too bad. That's a little bit high for the hair on there. But straight on, I think it's pretty good. I like to see uh, a battle damaged beat up Peter and some bruising, some scratches on his face and stuff like that. Kind of like we've seen with the Craven one, uh, but with the Tom Holland face, I guess maybe they license an actor all beat up. 
And then this web, we've seen this before uh, with Spider-Man. Um, I think we came with the Miles and Gwen 2-pack, uh, definitely with the uh, the video game, Game Reverse Spider-Man came with this as well. So, some cool accessories. Um, like I said, definitely a lot of people are interested in getting the unmasked head. And like I said, I think it looks good. So, um, that's really up to you. What do you think? So, let's take a look at the figure and compare it with the other. And looking at our upgraded suit Spider-Man figure, I think this is really good. I'm actually very pleasantly and happily surprised uh, that there is differences to this figure. And it really took me to take a stop, pause, and go back and look to see if it was just why. Um, but yeah, let's bring out the other Spider-Man so we can talk about it. So let's see who we have our two Spider-Man upgraded suits. And you can play a little game at home, uh, spot the difference. So, yeah, give me a second. No, okay. Uh, so first thing we'll point out and stuff, let's get that little pointer out too. That's so much fun. All right, so first thing we'll see is that on the belt kind of area or the waist kind of area, um, the original figure has these little black accents kind of lines right here uh, that give it a little red on black. Now this is actually how it looked in the film, um, but they changed it for No Way Home where we have this more solid red piece on there. Um, and this is also in the new film. And yeah, it, they basically do take place right after each other, but it is an update to the suit. Um, and I think it looks good. I do like it a lot. Uh, the black and red gives me a little bit more miles. And when this one gives me, you know, I don't know, it's minor. So the other spot you might notice uh, and see is the feet. So the front of the feet do have black on there. So give it a little bit more color on there as well. So that's a different addition. Turning them, you'll see that there is a little bit more red on the new suit. So the new updated suit. So we have these red elbows, uh, which give it a little bit more color as well there as well. I like it. Um, but everything else is pretty much the same. Now, one thing that is a difference that I do prefer on the older suit and it's kind of hard to see uh in this light but we'll try so yeah i think you can see it there is a texture kind of on the older one where it's almost like got like a mesh kind of going on uh, while the new one is very just sleek so i do like that kind of mesh material on there a lot and i think it's uh would have taken a figure a little bit further uh, I mean, it, it is small, minor picking that I'm doing here, but I just like it. And you can't like, I'm having to show you in, in bright light up close. So like when I say it is a minor thing, it is a minor thing. Now, oops, switching back. Lastly, uh, the spider symbol on the new one is, has a little bit more white on it. And that could be as simple as just better paint on one figure versus the other. But yeah. That's the big differences on these two figures. And, um, you know, so when you look at the shots from uh, Far From Home, you can kind of see, you see that suit. And that's what it looked like. And the shots from No Way Home, you can see they upgraded the suit like that. So, hey, that's why. Um, so it is actually a different, slightly different suit. So, hey, that might be more worth your money. Uh, and a little bit more incentive and a little more interest to, to go ahead and pick it up. But yeah, everything else is the same. It is a solid Spider-Man figure. Uh, same body mold that we've seen before, but really nice. It is a very poseable Spider-Man figure. Um, now let's put that other head back on there because that's pretty much what most people want. And didn't think that was going to come off. I was like really on there. All right. And yeah, I mean, that just looks great i think that is a really great head on there um and it looks really good uh proportion wise i have an older tom holland head that i had for another figure and yeah that needed to be updated big time and you can see we'll pull out this the black suit or the uh, movie spoilers uh, inverted suit i guess you could call it but yeah, you can see that this doesn't even work anymore at all. Um, so I was actually going to take this head and mess it up, put some 
some blood on it, a little bit of bruising and stuff like that, but it won't even fit on the on the body. Now, if you wanted to take this head and put it on this black suit, the black and gold suit, to see how that would look. That looks really damn good. So yeah, that looks awesome. I think it's totally worth it. Um, and you know, there, like I said, the differences and the suit really push it up for me as a collector uh, and the Spider-Man fan. I do love the red and black suit. It does remind me of uh, pretty much the first Spider-Man comics I was really into uh, where he was wearing the red and black suit fighting like the tarantula and stuff like that, which is another figure that we do need. But yeah, overall, I already talked about the head sculpt. Looks great. Uh, figure itself, paint it really good. I mean, uh, there's no like missing paint or anything like that on them. Uh, it's very simple, red and black, and hey, it works. Uh, I do love the white spider on the back, always did. Uh, spider on the symbol on the front, a little white around that makes it stand out, looks really nice. Man, I'm loving that head so much. But uh, yeah, I think it's really rad. Uh, Spider-Man is, very, like I said, a very poseable figure, so let's take a look at the articulation. So Spider-Man can look up and look down crazy amount no real tilt on there but full head rotation if you want all right and put the mask back on so with the mask yeah got some crazy range on there up down full rotation of course all right, yeah, yeah. There we go. Wasn't all the way on. And that butterfly. Full arm rotation. We got a bicep swivel. Double jointed elbows. They're not pinless, unfortunately. Wrist rotation with the flex. All right, ab crunch. Sick ab crunch. Look at that. Look at my toes. And back. Waist rotation. Split about that far. Yeah. Kick about this high. I've got a thigh cut on there. Double joint of knees. Again, not pinless, but. Wrist flex. Sorry, ankle flex. No boot cut. Big holes on the bottom of his feet. So yeah, I think this is a cool figure. I, I do like it. Uh, it is not only an upgraded suit, but an upgraded purchase for me. So I think it's worth it, guys. Tell me what you think in the comments. If this video has made you change your mind on this figure or whatnot. Um, you know, if you're interested in still. And, uh, hey, what else? What's your favorite Spider-Man suit, period? I'd like to know that. Put that in the comments. What's your favorite Spider-Man suit? Um, Movie-wise and just overall. Hey, so overall, I like this. I like this a lot. I'm pleasantly surprised uh, with the different little differences here. Um, I'm loving this maskless Peter Parker, Tom Holland head. So, yeah, I think it's worth it. And if you don't have that uh, upgraded suit already, it is definitely a must get if you're a spider-man fan which i am um so yeah get it guys check it out it's tw like 22 dollars and stuff like that if it's still on walmart.com uh, i'll throw it see if i can find and throw the link in the description of this video but hey if you like this video please leave a like check out our other content you can find us on facebook instagram and TikTok. just search for cajun toy review um you can also support the channel if you like by going to buymeacoffee.com slash Cajun Toy Review. Any money there goes towards a new camera. But yep, anyway, um, let me know if you want to see the other suit, the integrated suit and stuff like that. I hadn't decided if I was going to do a review or a short on that. I've been trying to uh, play catch up with a lot, but uh, I can push it forward if you guys are interested in it as well. And uh, definitely put in the comments which Spider Man suit is your favorite. But as always, thank you so, so much for watching, guys. I will see you in the next video. Take care of yourself.